At Bata's request, sporadic letters addressed to Billy and the Figu from all over the world are to be published. Subject. Letter to Billy Date. Son. 28th of Oz, Aug, 2022. Twin Tons 06, 44. From Kaz Daudier. Good day, Christian. Hope all is well. It's been a minute since we've communicated. I just wanted to send these words your way to share with Billy, if possible. Thanks again. Salome. Dear Billy, thank you on behalf of all humanity. You are achieving what no one else could achieve. You are helping to make us human beings again. When I met you, I told you that I had no question for you and that I just wanted to thank you for everything you have done for earthly human beings in the name of love. And all the time you smiled with the most beautiful smile I have ever seen. You radiated so much love, dear Harold. To this day I think about it. So happy that I was able to witness it firsthand. Your work is slowly coming to an end. As you already know, your teaching is finally in good hands. We will make sure that your words are spread all over this planet. If I do not see you again in this life, I will look for and find your next personality in the next. Hope your health is still strong. Thank you again, and big thank you to the core group members, Michael Horn and the Play Irons crew. I am so sorry that Switzerland is ruining its neutrality status. That was indeed a lowly intelligent move. Hope they fix it soon. Salome. What is also happening in the world? Calling all who really want peace. Figu core group members. Figu passive members. Figu friends. Figu like-minded people. Remain permanently neutral in what your opinion is, what you say, represent, and otherwise express. Do not politicize when you state your opinion but state in a neutral way what is right and what is wrong, but do not be in the form of a personal for or against a thing or an event, etc., that is thought or done, but remain neutral in expressing yourself that it is correct or wrong without taking sides from one side or the other, and this regardless of whether it is thought or action, for it makes no relevant difference. Evidence and Attacks why do you adversaries, critics, know-it-alls, complainers cry out for evidence, overlooking the truth and your own inadequacy, ignorance and stupidity and stupidity? Why do you rise up in enmity against the truth and wander about with your attacks in a world of evil and negativity to make yourselves bigger than you really are? Why do you antagonists, you scolders and you know-it-alls and critics why do you indulge in enmity against effective truth? Why do you pollute ethics with false morals? You adversaries, know-it-alls, complainers and antagonists, you who turn to lies and deceit when you only see yourselves as great as you really are, lower yourselves to the level of the normal and honest, for this is the path that never produces anger and enmity, but peace, friendship, love as well as harmony. Only these values guarantee life. 6th of March, 2022, 1913 Eras Billy. Foreign Drone, over Ruti. On the afternoon of Monday, 20th of March, 2023, I was in the center kitchen, busy cooking dinner for the crew of the Hinterschmidruti. Suddenly, and like greased lightning, Billy dashed across the kitchen to leave through the rear exit. After less than a minute, he came back in through this very door. It may have been around four o'clock. At my questioning look, Billy motioned me to follow him into the office, where he drew my attention to something on one of the surveillance monitors that explicitly showed the area between the house and Guido's trailer. He pointed out to me an object that was incessantly circling around above the construction site there, where Mark and Hartmut were present to give the path a bit more width. They did not see or hear the object, which was inaudible and invisible to the eyes. It must have been some kind of drone, which had the shape of a small, 
bright rectangular object and was about 30 centimeter long and about 15 centimeters wide, bright yellow, without propellers and completely silent. That is to say, quite different from the drones we know. That was why Billy had rushed to the crime scene to see what was happening there. The strange thing was that although the object was clearly visible on the monitor, it was invisible and silent outside in the flesh. After we had watched the spectacle for a while, we got Mark and Hartmut in front of the monitor so that they could also see the presence of the drone that was doing its rounds of observation and confirm what they had seen. For my part, I hurriedly fetched my mobile phone in the kitchen to shoot a film lee of this process on the screen. Unfortunately, however, the object disappeared the moment I switched on my mobile phone. Consequently, we could only see the dim shadow of the drone for a while, then the spook was over. According to Billy, the drone was obviously not of terrestrial, and especially not of Play Aaron's origin, which Bermunda also confirmed later during a conversation with Billy. So once again, the object could only belong to a group of foreigners who were once again poking their noses into our affairs. Billy can observe such and similar occurrences on his surveillance monitors, which now make the center's surroundings visible everywhere for safety's sake, because he always has the monitors in front of him when he's sitting at his desk writing. And likewise, a tall male person dressed in a long gray cloak recently materialized outside his office window. Despite an immediate check outside, the being suddenly disappeared from the face of the earth, only to reappear in a different place. Of course, the human being was also invisible outside this time, although Billy ran out almost simultaneously to see what this suddenly materialized figure wanted. Here at Hinterschmidt Rudy, many such or similar strange occurrences are the order of the day. Often one or more of us Figu members witness them, even if, unfortunately, only rarely does anyone take the trouble to take up a pen to bear witness to what had unexpectedly come before their eyes. So there is no question of Billy making up such stories to make himself important or any such nonsense. Billy is integrity personified. Anyone who knows him would blush with shame to accuse him of fibbing. It is also to be said that UFOs have also been seen in Shmidruti or in the nearer and wider surroundings. But the observers are usually silent or keep quiet about it, so that only rarely does anyone contact us about it. Brigitte